Well, uh, you know, it, it's always been our model to focus not on being the retail sellers of the services of our vehicle. Instead, we wholesale those through value-added resellers, both for people and for payloads. And we've had a number of announcements recently of um, uh, value-added resellers and payload integrators on the payloads front. And, you know, we're getting more and more interest in people who want to wet lease the lifetime services of the complete vehicle for operations, you know, in their own sales channels and for their own purposes. And the two that you mentioned are the two that have already reached firm agreements with us and have paid us some binder. Uh, and we have a number of other clients that we are in an earlier stage of discussion with, but we won't discuss those until something definitive is on paper or until after they've paid us. And the, those two, uh, they are specifically, uh, their locations are? Uh, one of them intends to operate in Yishan, South Korea, and the other on Curaçao, which is a former Dutch possession um, not too far north of Venezuela in the Caribbean. Um, and you mentioned uh, uh, the payload integration um, uh, channels that uh, that you've uh, successfully uh, explored recently. Uh, uh, the Southwest Research Institute, I think, is. They're one of the six uh, payload integrators that we have announced our partnerships with. And they all those six have different areas of focus. Uh, and they're located in different parts of the world so that customers from all over the world who have payload experiments they want to do have a, a variety of choices of services that they can contract with. And in addition to that, uh, Southwest Research Institute announced that they have purchased a number of flights from us that they intend to fly uh, researchers with their experiment, uh, which is something we're looking forward to and I know all of their research pilots and we have worked with them over the years and I can't wait to give them a chance to fly. Uh, you, you did mention that you are going to be doing some more uh, uh, wind tunnel testing. Yes, uh, they, uh, uh, we were very, very happy with our uh, experience doing testing at the uh, supersonic wind tunnel facility down at NASA Marshall. And that was for the Lynx, uh, uh, for the Lynx uh, uh, plane, right? Yes, yes. And, you know, as I've uh, previously said uh, in publicly, you know, we learned a lot of things in that last round of wind tunnel testing. We made some relatively small tweaks to the aerodynamic configuration of the vehicle. We're going back into the tunnel to validate those and really all that that's waiting for is the scheduling slot to open up at the tunnel. But did, did you say something about uh, another wind tunnel somewhere else? Yeah, we've been, uh, the wind tunnel time that we've been using has been arranged as part of our relationship um, as a small contract we have going with the U.S. States Air Force. And uh, the, our contacts there are contemplating um, uh, arranging some time in another wind tunnel facility, uh, but that's not a done deal yet. Uh, but you know, we certainly, you know, we, I am a big uh, advocate uh, now that I've been through this experience of the advantages of doing your design work with the aid of a wind tunnel. And if they offer that time, we will most certainly use it. So that's a lot more efficient than computer modeling. Of course, everything's got its own strengths and weaknesses. But but I think the in my own experience. Um, the changes in technology over the last 20 years uh, paradoxically have made the computer less competitive because now that you can use the computer controlled tools to make wind tunnel models quickly, uh, you can generate a large volumes of data over a wide variety of test conditions in a wind tunnel uh, actually faster than you could do it on some cases on the computer. Of course, on a computer, you get to visualize the what's happening in the flow, and that's very helpful as well. So, it, you know, perhaps I can sometimes overstate it. In truth, they both have their place. Uh, but so much of the trend has been, we have computer dynamics now. Who needs wind tunnels anymore? And that I think is is overstated too far in the other direction. I think wind tunnels are a very great tool in the toolbox.